honestly don't know why she has refused to tell me who is responsible. I don't even know, I don't get it. I mean, she's my only sister, she's my blood. Why can't she just open up to me? Angela, I have been talking to you for hours inside the house. Don't tell me I just wasted all my effort for nothing. Okay, why don't you keep talking to that her friend, Evelyn? I believe she's the one that will tell you what to do next. Hey, God. Oh, God. Victoria, I don't have the heart to contain this whole thing. How do I go about this thing now? Just tell me now. Nah, I don't know. I don't just know. Why can't she confide in me now? Angela. Angela, stop doing this to yourself. Stop. I believe whoever that is responsible for her pregnancy who should make a good in-law. <laughs> in-law. Yes. When she has refused to tell me who the person is, I mean, what is there? We call the person, then the person comes for introduction. That is all. Nah, eh? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't just get it. It's okay. She will tell you. She will. She will. She Thank you so much for coming with me, considering the fact that you don't know me. I really want to ask you an important question. Evelyn, are you happy that your friend Stephanie is pregnant? Of course not, Auntie. I'm not happy. Okay, good. Do you love your friend and you would love to protect her interest? Of course I do. I love Steph very, very much. Evelyn, I beg you. The last time you visited, I know that she must have told you who impregnated her. So I ask you, I ask you, Evelyn, please tell me who impregnated Stephanie. Well, I'm, uh, Auntie, I'm not the one pregnant here, I'm sorry. And I think Steph would be in a better position to answer that question. And besides, it's only a pregnant woman that knows who's responsible. And where she has refused to tell me, what do you want me to do? Well, maybe you should just try harder, and I think she'll tell you one of these days. Evelyn, you just told me that you love my sister, and you would love to protect her interest. Why then? Why don't you want to tell me who got her pregnant? Stephanie is about to give birth to a bastard. And when that child comes out, he will ask, where is my father? Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn, no, no, no. And you don't you. kneel for me. Please get up, please. I beg you, please tell me who got my sister pregnant. She is my only sister. She is my only blood. I beg you. Please get up. She's just my only sister. Please, I beg you. Well, it all happened two months ago. When Steph came to the lesson center and told me about the ugly incident. No, uh, Steph, you didn't expect anybody. See, you know that my friend, even now, when she comes, just let her to I don't want her to come inside. Just let her know. Okay, uh, I will do just that. Okay. But that one will get small body. We they like this. They are talking to me. Uh, that one will get small body. You two, they play with everything. I beg they go. Hmm.
Are you sure of what you're telling me or you're joking? Mama, this is not a joke. This is pure reality. Jesus. I could not even believe it when I found about it. Hey. Hey. How am I going to face this kind of situation? Ah! Our village people. Hi! Hey. What are they going to say? Hey God. You shouldn't have allowed such a shameful thing to happen to me now, eh? Hi! Mama, what do we do? What do we do, please? Uh, what about your husband? Have you discussed it with him? <laughs> Mama, I just said I want to come let you know first because you're the one that just got to my head. Mama, we need to do something. You have to tell me what to do. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, okay. I think I have to go to the city with you. Okay. Mm? okay. When I get there, okay. I will confront Stephanie. Okay. Let her tell you why she did what she did. Okay. And Jekwado. Hi! Hey. Hey. Stephanie, you have killed me. Hey. Mama! Evening, what happened? You didn't come yesterday as planned. I waited for you all through. Mm, Steph, yesterday was so, so hectic for me that I got engaged in some domestic chores up till night. I'm so sorry, okay? You're always sorry. <sighs> anyway, I called to tell you that it is high time I reveal the secret. Um, um, what, what, what secret is that? This pregnancy, of course. See, have you forgotten? You asked me to muster courage. And now I have the courage. All I want now is for us to know the way forward. Evelyn, is everything all right? Why the sudden change of mood? Evelyn, Talk to me. Well, Stephanie, I'm sorry. It's a little too late. What is little too late? Evelyn, don't tell me it's true. What I just thought of now. Please tell me it's not true. I'm sorry, Steph. I had to tell your sister the truth about her pregnancy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You what? Sorry. Why did you do this to me, Evelyn? Why? It was for your own good, Steph. It was for your own good. Don't touch me! I'm sorry, Steph! God, what have I done? Steph, how could you? How could you be so mean and wicked to your sister? Could you do such a silly thing with a man you know what he is to us? Ah, how could you betray your sister? Why would you stab her at her back? Mm, Steph, why would you bite her head without minding her hair? Mama, I know I'm to be blamed for all that has happened. <laughs> but believe me, it wasn't intentional. <laughs> I don't know why I let the devil use me this way. Mama, please. It was a mistake. <laughs> believe me. Mm. <laughs> so, how long has this been going on? For, for some months now. <laughs> For some time now, you've always rejected your food. Not to talk of the pensive mood you've indulged in. 
Doctor, tell me, is there any problem? No, no. <clears throat> there's no problem. Sir, this is exactly the same thing you told me the other day. And here you are looking so traumatized. So I know I'm not part of this family. But problem shared is half solved. I watch the face of between you and my sister almost on a daily basis. And here you are telling me that all is fine. When is not? Sir, I don't know how this might sound to you. I actually am the cause of this saga. So I don't mind going back to the village. Please, to return the peace that you guys have once shared. Don't do that, Don't even think of doing that. You're not the cause of the problem. Hmm? Then what? Because I'm really, really bothered about all those things. <sighs> Let's go inside. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> well, Steph, that has been the problem since then. has changed completely from the good loving wife she used to be to a totally different person I do not understand. But uh, this shouldn't have been the problem between you and your wife. It's just for you to apply wisdom. Huh? I believe she will see reasons with you. Huh. Yeah. I've been applying wisdom and trying to make her see reasons with me. All to know I feel. It's as if I'm doing the wrong thing. Sir, she's my sister. And I promise I will talk to her. Who knows? She might listen to me. God will bless you if you do. Hmm? God will bless you if you do. Thank you so much. And when you do, tell her I love her. Alright? Tell her I love her so much. I will never do anything to hurt her. Huh? It's so take it all. Can my own wife tell me to bring in another woman into my matrimonial home and sleep with her? I call the alcohol. Like I said earlier, I will talk to her. Let's see what happens after the end of the whole thing. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, can we go for Oh, yes, yes, it's fine. Can I can bring it here. Okay. <laughs> No, she's not yet back, but I'm sure she'll be back today. You know how it is in the village? Mother seen her daughter after some time. A lot of discussion is bound to take place. Steph, I want to thank you for your words of encouragement the other day. I really appreciate them. In fact, you don't know what you did for me. Um, prior to that time, I've been very unhappy. But you spoke to me and, I don't know, it's this this peace that just came into my heart. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. She's my sister and you are the husband. So you don't need to worry. After I have finished speaking with her, I know she will understand. <laughs> you pain and I brought you shame. I'm really very sorry. Honestly, I I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. But I promise you we'll find a solution. Okay? 
find a way to fix this. Right? Nico, forgive me. I'm sorry. fault is mine. Mama, I am ready to bring back the peace in this family. Even if it entails about in this pregnancy. <clears throat> um, um, Mama, <clears throat> I'm really very sorry. Believe me, from the depths of my heart, I am sorry. Um, Angela, my wife, Biko, forgive me. I am deeply sorry. You know, I didn't plan things to turn out this way. Believe me, I, I don't know what got into me, honestly. I don't know how it happened, but Biko, just, just forgive me, please. Uh, concerning what she said, abortion. Biko, let's not go there. Please, please, let's not go there. Mama, I tell Geneva. Mama, I'm going to my room. I'm disappointed in you. I mean, how could you? How could you do such a thing? Knowing fully well that she is your sister-in-law. You have disappointed me. What you did is an abomination. Mama, please. Please, Mama. Mama, to air is human. To forgive is divine. Mama, please. Let us do away with the misgivings of the past and face the future, Mama, please. Please, Mama, be good. <laughs> you cannot turn the hand of the clock backwards. It is not possible. Eh? Even if you decide to do the abortion, hmm. even if you decide to do the abortion, the deed has been done. Mama, like I said earlier, I am ready to bring back the peace in this house. I am ready. Otun, how? How? saying is let, let, let's put heads together and handle this like a couple you know like a family like mature people huh? Ben so you've been sleeping with my sister all this while see this thing is it was a natural uh, you know occurrence I, I know how to, it's not my fault 
You know, I, I'm so sorry I couldn't resist the urge when it came calling. I try to understand. Abel, I will only forgive you, but I cannot forget it. If we decide to call a space, this thing is actually your fault. Yes, you, you wanted so much to hear the cry of a baby in this house and you pushed me into this. Yes, I wanted to, but not certainly with my sister. Ben, you have broken my heart. You have betrayed me. Wait, isn't this obvious that this is a premeditated act? I didn't draw close to her intention. Uh, forces um, beyond us, you know, brought us together. It's not my fault. But you see, this thing has happened. I would like us to look on the bright side of it. You know, maybe she's your sister. This is one family. We can keep this thing together, you know. Just keep it as a family, you know. Ben, how dare you? Are, are you out of your mind? How dare you talk about my little sisters? Oh God. happening while I was away. He never bothered to call me. What are friends for? My brother. Fool boy. Fool boy have a local phone. Honestly, it's not the kind of discussion you have over the phone. <laughs> Fine. I admit I did it. Right? Steph and I, we, we, something happened. But I didn't mean to get that pregnant. Believe me, that wasn't the plan, frankly speaking. As it is now, what do you intend to do? My brother, I don't know. That's why I, I need you to advise me. But what do I do? I don't know. Oh. Okay, see. I'm going to ask you a question. And the answer to the question will determine your way forward. You and I know how much you truly need a child. Of course. Now, do you want to keep the baby? Or you want to terminate the pregnancy? Alex. Yes. Before I answer your question, let me ask you my own question. Alright. Are you drunk? No. I've been trying to have a child for many years. Now I'm about to become a father. You want me to abort my child? Is he gay? No. It's, it will never happen. It's not an option. Cancel. Then, that's the deal with it all. Going to this, call your wife. Talk to her. Make her understand and she, she will see reasons with you. That's the problem. I've done that, but she doesn't want to understand. She doesn't want to see reasons with me. I don't know. In fact, she believes it wasn't a mistake that I went all out to impregnate her sister. What do you expect her to think in the first place? Remember, she practically begged you to, to, to get another woman and get her pregnant, but you refused. That's exactly what I've done. Another woman is pregnant for me. You know why everybody wants to kill me? So what do I do? It will be one day, you know. Okay. You see. Um, I would suggest you let it lie low now. Within shortest possible time, I think the whole thing will die down naturally and take a normal shape. And after they call her and explain to her, she will understand. Mm.
depression. Oh, 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 oh. Childlessness can cause destruction and depression. Oh, oh. sorry about it. All I'm asking right now is for you to show her love. Show her love as a mother. Knowing her condition. Biko. I love my child though. Nothing will make me not to love her. Cannot deny my love for her. But the question is what do we do now? Uh, Mama, you know that for many years we have tried so much to have a child. Um, hasn't been possible. Um, you know, I, 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 I want to see the positive side of um, this situation. I would like to believe that it just may be the hand of God in, in our lives. You know, so based on that I'm saying let us keep this child. At least it will prove to the whole world that I can father a child. Biko. Huh. Did anyone say you cannot father a child? Mbano. Angela told me that she had series of miscarriages. What other evidence is anybody looking for to know that you're a man? I don't care. In the show power on Steph. I don't understand though. Like I said before, I'm not proud of it at all. I'm, I'm sorry. But, you know, considering the situation, at least you know. You know it's not my fault. What about the people outside? They do not know. How will they see me? Eh? Biko, L let us keep this child. Even if it means marrying her. Eh? Mbao. Hey. Ben, what you're asking for is beyond me. I can't even let you have that child, let alone Marina. How do you possible? But Why? Ah, Ben, what you did was very unreasonable. It was so unimaginable. Hey, Mbao. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, I, I really don't understand. At the right time, you will understand one. You will understand. Hi. Hi.
Oh God, I'm sorry for the sins that have befallen me. Even if I die while giving birth, let me find a place in your bosom. I can't continue with this shame anymore. How do I face my sister for the rest of my life? What would people say? This is an act that will forever remain indelible for the rest of my life. God, why me, God? I'm sorry. Ben, do you mean she said she can have the baby or marry her? That's what she said. Why did she give us a reason? Hmm. She said I will find out soon. You will, you will soon find out what? Exactly, I don't know. This is what she told me at the end of our discussion. What? It's a very common thing in the world of today. A man marrying two sisters. Of course. It's, it's not a taboo. Yes. They should allow what happened to be a bygone and forge ahead in life. My brother, that's the thing. Nobody wants to see it that way. No, they, they, they don't believe it's a mistake. Everybody feels I, I planned this whole thing and they are looking at me, seeing me like, like I committed an abominable act. It's just it's crazy. It's okay, man. It's okay. You see, the power of your personality is when you stand it for and you yourself tell who you are. Just try and be strong. Okay? This life for you. You see, this life it is filled with ups and downs. It is a mixture of the good, the bad, and the ugly. What has happened is not the end of the world. Just calm down. Don't allow anger to overwhelm you because it reduces the respect and strength of you. Huh? People take it easy. I'm so ashamed of this act. Mama, how can I face the rumor out there in the society? Uh, Mama, imagine. Just imagine. Steph! Carry my husband's child! It's, it's unbelievable! No, no, no. Ada, you have to calm down. Eh? You will have BPO. You will develop high blood pressure. Eh? You have to calm down. I have told you that the future is a lot better and greater than the past. And for you to see that future, you have to be focused. Forget what people will talk. Because if you do good though, they will talk. You do bad though, they will talk. Eh? Please just calm down. Oh, you could have told me never wanted me alive. Oh, oh, you didn't tell me. Now, Ada, Ada, you have to calm down. Hey, I told you that tomorrow is greater than today, and you need to be focused to face that tomorrow. Hmm? Get it. Mama. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. I don't 
don't want you to go down memory lane. I don't want you to go down memory lane. Oh God, I'm a butchin' and you know what? Oh, please, I have pleaded with you. I've begged you. I'm sorry. Forgive me now. Let's move on. It's okay. Will I kill myself before you forgive me? Please lose it. It's better for us. Lose it. I can't continue seeing myself as a, a, a betrayer or something. Lose it. It will be fine. You have no right whatsoever to accept this test. So why are you being worried? I'm only worried because it's affecting my life. All right, I beg you. This thing has happened. Let's move on. The earlier we understand it that way, the better for everybody. Or you want to tell me how you derive pleasure with being with her on bed? Or you want to tell me how she screams on bed or something? Shut up! What has come over you? Shut up! I'm tired of living on my life. Actually, you won't ask me. You are threatening to confirm this. You are a man. Well done, sir. Thank you. Let me sleep. Oh, God, please help me. I'm so speechless. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiftlessness can cause destruction and depression.
is just the person that brought the woman. Oh, he's writing. Okay. Where is her? She's responding to treatment. Please, who are you to her? Well, I was just passing by when I saw the position of the car inside the bush. It occurred to me that the car must have missed his truck. So I checked only for me to see her resting her head on the steering with a lot of blood coming out of her mouth. So I decided to have. Oh, that was very thoughtful of you. Um, the problem now is how do we get to reach any of our relations or somebody close to her? I saw this phone beside her. Thank you. I'll make do with this. At least I can go through her contacts if they reach her relation with anybody. Thank you so much. Do have a nice day. Accident. Hey, what, what happened? Ah, ah. Oh, okay, no problem. Ah, I, just, oh, I hope she's okay. Which, which hospital? Where, where is she now? All oh, right, no problem. I, I'm coming there right away. All right, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ben, your wife was brought in here by a good Samaritan who witnessed the incident and decided to bring her to the nearest hospital. That's why she's here. Thank God, thank God. How is she? How is she doing? What's her condition like? Hope she's okay. Well, we just discovered that she's bleeding from the nose. Hey. But thank God everything is under control now. Just take it easy, she'll be fine. All you need to do is to make necessary payments so that once she regains consciousness, we can carry out further tests on her. No, no problem. That, that, that won't be a problem, eh? Just... I 
winner in a way. A winner in a way. God, I remember your word in Psalm 121, where you promised that you will never let our feet be moved. I've always trusted you. I've always believed in you. Why did you let this happen? Why? Hey, Angela. Angela. Oh, Mama is okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. I'm a big girl. I'm sorry. Hi, Mama is okay. Please, Angela. <laughs> Mama is okay. Hi. <laughs> I never knew the last time she visited this village. Uh, the, the last day I will set my eyes on her. Hey! Terrible. Hey! Who okay. changed It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Pull yourself together. There's no amount of tears we shed that will bring her back. She's gone. The same thing I told her. If you cry. I decided to cry from now till the end of the week. What of Stephanie? I hope she's finally gets this. Because I know how we feel when we just want someone very dear to us. It's very painful. It's really very hard of her to do that not to cry. That's the other one. Because of her condition. And she did well. I will go and uh, tell my family members what happened. When are you going back to the city? Uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm also taking her taking home. This place should be quite lonely. Well, if you say so. If you say so. Please, please pull yourself together. Right? You will fall sick. Please, put yourself together. Right? Do you want to join us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. My son. You have to take heart. That is not the end of the world. Thanks. Let's keep going. We'll go see Hold on. If you had listened to me, if you had listened to me when I told you that children come at God's own time, I do not produce children. No human being produces children. If you had listened to me, all these things would have happened. Look at it now. My wife's younger sister is pregnant for me. And then my wife... My wife is dead. Are you happy now? Hey, Mama. Who be a big old My son. You don't have to blame me. I'm only playing the role of a mother. Every mother who truly understands what I am saying will think the same thing. Please, I thank you. At least you have seen the result. I guess you are happy now. My son, I love you so much. And that is why I need the best for you. Ah, it is the duty of a mother to protect his son. 
That's all. You don't expect me to go silent when I see my son married without a new shoe for. I cannot continue to train other people's children when I know that I have a son who can give me my own grandchildren. Very soon, Obina will finish from secondary school and his parents will come to take him back again. As usual. Ha! Together with other people who we have been trained here. Is that how you want us to continue? Is that okay by you? Mama, please. Biko, 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 allow me. Just allow me to grieve in peace. To not remind me of the, the, the things that led to my wife's death. Hey, who said that I'm not consigned? She's my daughter-in-law and I love her so much. Huh? I cannot dispute that. Biko, what are you Pregnancy contributed to her death. I feel like going with her. Tell me, what will people say to us? A betrayal? Or a murderer? Stop Help me. Stop me. Stop it. Stop it, Steph. Please. Stop it. On the contrary. You are not a murderer. Neither are you a betrayer. It was only a situation you couldn't handle. Steph, in a situation like this, which is very delicate, you don't really need to think too much. Thinking will help matters, so please, will you stop crying and thinking? I beg you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your concern. Also, Steph, I would like to tell you that I'll be going back to the north since we are done with our exams. My parents called me and asked me to come over to continue my studies there. But Steph, I really want to ask you. Do you hold any grudge against me? Grudge? What for? I mean, I'm sorry. I really do apologize for everything that happened. And for telling your sister everything, you know. I was afraid with the way she, she, she interrogated me and she came on and off into the lesson center. I was really, really afraid. I'm really sorry. Please, I'm sorry. And you know, if my auntie gets to find out about this, hell will be let loose on me. I'm sorry for being an intruder in a matter that doesn't concern me. Please forgive me. Evelyn, even if it didn't come from you, the truth must surely prevail. I understand your fears, okay? that it will be remembered anywhere and at any time. But promise me one thing. I will be by your mom. She needs you now than ever. I will. I will. I couldn't believe it when you told me about your wife's death. I am deeply concerned the way you feel right now, coupled with the problems that you're facing. I would advise you to take out because um, 
Death is an inevitable act. It's, a, it's something that everybody must pay. No matter how big or small you are, you must surely pay the price. And please, I will urge you to apply wisdom in anything you say or do at this point in time. Please, take heart. Hmm. I'm Alex. <clears throat> Thank you so much for your words of encouragement. I really appreciate your presence here. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. And one more thing. Please try as much as you could to be beside her sister, her younger sister, before she will get psychologically affected. Okay? Yeah. That's by the way. How is the the red plans going. It's going well. Yeah. I'll be going back to the village to continue a few other arrangements, but it's, it's going great. Okay. for the death of my sister. The seed of this cult, the devil planted through me, triggered her sudden death. Within me, life is no longer meaningful because I see myself as a murderer. <laughs> I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry! <laughs> Shh. Life has just thrown another blow at me. Another tragedy has befallen me. Hey, Ada. My Ada is gone. Mama, please, I am sorry. Hey. <laughs> I called you because I have thought about this whole thing and um, I've taken a decision. What is the decision? We have fought like mere mortals, mere human beings. But whether we like it or not, God has the final say. <clears throat> now that um, Angela's burial has come and gone, we don't have any other choice than to adapt to the situation at hand. I've come to realize that it is neither your fault nor Stephanie's. This whole thing to, took Angela's life because she failed to realize that one should not allow situations 
to change who the person is. I have um, decided to take Stephanie back to the village with me. Mm. Mm. Now you want to take Stephanie away and subject me to a world of loneliness or cousin now. I don't understand what you're saying, you know. What brought us together was Angela. Eh? And now that she she's no more. Let Stephanie put to bed first. Mm -hmm. After that, we'll have sit down and discuss the way forward. Ah, yeah, ma'am. I was waiting for this. That is the only thing you're concerned about, her pregnancy. Well then, she is my daughter. And I decide what she does. She's going home with me. Biko. I understand all you've said, but I don't think going back to the village is the best thing. Mm. So what is the best thing? For you to stay here and be tormented every day? Is that what you want? Far from it, Mama. All I'm saying is that going back to the village will result in nothing but revealing the secret which you've always kept. What secret, if I may ask? This pregnancy, of course. How are we going to reveal it to them? Steph, now I know that this, your pregnancy, is more important to you than your late sister. Please, oh, I don't want to remember things I have decided to let go. Because if I start, I will not stop. Mama, Mama, going back to the village is not the best. I am the one wearing the shoes and I know where it pinches. Ah! Why are you giving that useless proverb of yours that you don't even know what it means? Eh? Listen, oh, I was just waiting for the burial to be over. For us to go back. Now that it's over, it is time for us to go back to our base. The sooner we do it, the better for us. No, mama. End of story. We are not going to talk about this anymore. Start getting ready. Uh, frankly speaking, then, this matter is taking a very difficult dimension. I would advise you should be careful in decision making. Okay? Brother, I just don't know what's happening. Honestly, it, it's like I'm. <sighs> I'm in a puzzle, you know, a puzzle. I don't, I don't know whether to go left or go right. I'm not even in control of my life anymore. Things are just happening. I don't know what's going on. You know, what surprises me now is, why did you come up with this idea? No. When they know that you truly need this child. Of course. Would they keep to wallowing the shadow of their past when we know that the future is bright? What has happened has happened. We just need to put it behind us and forge ahead. By the way, hi Steph. Have you spoken to her about all this? Mm. No. Ah, I will advise you have had to hard talk with her. You understand? Have you had to hard talk with her and um, try to be strong. I know how you feel, man. I understand. Be strong. Yeah? What is really going on? Why would this situation befall me now that I'm about to prove myself to the society? To prove that I'm a, I'm a man? Why now? Why? How do I convince her on this? God, I'm so confused right now.
heart is broken away. My heart is sweet and like ice. Oh no. What happened that led to the death of your daughter? Who was also my daughter in law? Please do find a place in your heart to forgive. So we can move on. Pico. I've got no problem. I have already put everything behind me like you advised. There's no problem. If you may name me go. I want to assure you that my son will still stay up all through her pregnancy period until she delivers. Unfortunately, my in-law, I have already made up my mind to take Stephanie back home. Uh, so we have to go. Mm. The business we had with you people was my daughter Angela and now she's dead. We have to go back to where we came from. My Lord. Isn't it better for her to stay here and deliver her baby than taking her back to the village? Apart from that, we have qualified doctors here in the city who can be able to take care of her considering how it happened. Mm? You know she's still a child. Mm? Ogum. Unfortunately, my in-law, Stephanie is my daughter, not yours. Uh, moreover, your son is neither married to me nor Stephanie, but to Angela. Well, she is my daughter, not your own. So I decide what happens to her, not you. She's still my daughter. Who is your daughter? Hey. Mm. hey. Village one. Can you go and village? Mama, you sent for me. Ah. My daughter. Huh? I sent for you. I want to lay a heartfelt apology for what my son did to you. Please, for the sake of your late sister, forgive him. He is becoming absent-minded on a daily basis. Please. Hmm? I've heard you, Mama. Thank you. One more thing. Do you accept the idea of what your mother just said, of taking you back to the village? Mama, she is my mother. And whatever decision she takes, is okay by me. Besides, if you look at it from the general perspective, she's not wrong. You know you are the one that is truly concerned in this matter. Your decision determines our way forward. Mama, Mama, what do you want me to say? My daughter, I know it will be difficult for you to say, but I want you to convince her that going back to the village is not the best option now. Please, Mama. I know it's my decision to make, but my mother's decision also counts, hey. not mine alone. Please, Mama, you just have to understand me, please. Because you're my mom, because you're. Please, I beg of you. Mama, please let me be quiet. So, my son, I think she's going by the footstep of her mom. But I cannot succumb to their decision. Not now that I'm about to carry my grandchild. So what do you think we should do? I think she needs another kind of different approach. I think so. Hi, what can you do? Mother, do you think this whole thing will pass away someday? Ah, my son, it will now. Of course it will. Just be optimistic. That's all.
opening of this? Eh? Why did you lock the door? I am sorry I cannot allow you to take step back to the village. Why? Is she your daughter? Eh? Hey! How many times will I tell this woman that Steph does not have any business with her? And she does not have any business with Steph? On the contrary, I have a lot of businesses with Steph, if you must know. Okay. okay, starting with which one though? Starting with the baby she is carrying. Why is it that you fail to understand simple? Simple fact. What is the simple fact? The simple something that she is carrying my grandchild. And I will not allow that my grandchild to just disappear like that. Not after so many years of lamentation to God. Look at this woman. Oh! So, you planned everything. So, you were the one that masterminded everything your son did. Eh? You don't even know the gravity of the sin your son has, has committed. Which sin? If I may ask you. Is it the first time that one is requesting to get married to two sisters? If I may ask you. Eh? Can you tell me why you, why you don't want to rest? Therefore, you see you. You, you are a very desperate mother-in-law. Oh God, you put a small mother. You are a desperate mother-in-law. All you want is a grandchild. You don't even care where and how that child comes into being. You want a grandchild. You put a small mother. Who know how it feels for an only son huh? to be battling with the issue of 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 room of room for so many years? Never look at me, John. Man, can't you tell me? Can you tell me? Be a big man. You can do any one of us can say that forever. Go. Okay, okay. There's no problem. I want to go. Just give me the key. Let me carry my shallow mind back to the village where I belong. No condition can you that. Is it? Oh no, ma. Is that an order? Please give me the key. What is that? Name key. Mama, Mama, bring it. Give me that key. Name, name. Just bring it. Don't touch me. Mama, 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 Mama,
the opportunity now that she has put to bed. Yes, it is the right time. Yes. Mama. Mama. Hmm? Hey. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Oh. Mama, where is Ben and Mama? Um, they went to bring your baby back. My in-law, I wish to say sorry for what happened the other time. I didn't mean to oppose your decision, considering how emotionally chattered you are. Please, I'm very sorry. Forgive me. There's no problem. I understand your quest. I forgive you. Hey, thank you. Now that the whole thing is over, there is something I want to ask you. And I don't want you to say no. Well, if it is within my reach, why not? Allow my son to marry your daughter. At least to make up to the loss of Angela. Mm -hmm. Have you taken time out to ask why I am never comfortable with that issue? Who does not know that what is being held at time hmm, does not require mirror for clarification? It's very odious. Now that the whole thing is over, please allow us to become good in us. Because they are. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, um, I've come to realize that you can only keep the secret for some time before spilling it. How do you mean secret? Oh. It's okay, my love. You will know later. I hope it's not affecting our discussion. At the right time, you will find out. So, my son, that was how it went. She practically did not tell me her reasons. But I think there is more to this. Well, if you ask me, I think uh, she's actually finding it difficult to accept because of the situation. Um, surrounding you know, the whole thing. Mm. I think it's far from the idea because I could see it in her eyes. Mm. Yes. So you're saying um, her refusal actually there's there's more to it. I believe it's it has an attachment to it. Yes. Stay free. Stay free. Has it come to the extent of coming to the backyard and start crying like this? Why are you shedding tears? I've always told you that crying cannot stop anything out of this. Hmm? Human beings are prone to circumstance and we cannot stop it. 
the early, the better you pull yourself. The better for us. Now, if I'm ask you, <laughs> am I not your mother? Am I not supposed to be your mother? Why is it that you cannot listen to me? <laughs> I was talking to you the other time. I told you that this child is going to be a blessing to this family. And as long as I'm concerned, that is it. So, what I'm trying to tell you, please, the earlier the better you pull yourself, the better for all of us. I don't want you to start doing all these things. Please. Oh okay, yeah, let's go inside. Huh? Let's go inside. It's okay. My daughter, let's go inside. Get up. Angela would have been in a better position to say this. But death. Death wouldn't let her. your mother. Angela was a biological mother. I'm just your grandmother. She had you when she was still in the village. She left you in my care when you were just two years old. Before she went to the city with her friends in search of a job. This woman you've always called your mother is not your mother. She's your biological mother. Tell me that you're not my mother. <laughs> Mama, tell me it's not true. <laughs> Mama, tell me it's not true. Angela was a biological mother. <gasps> I'm just your grandmother. <gasps> Mama, how could you? Mama, how could you hide this from me all this while? How could you, Mama? I, I didn't know how to explain <sighs> it to you. Please forgive me. <laughs> For the victim of this circumstance, <laughs> it's only best way for us to tackle this thing positively. 
Please, I beg you. It is only death that has no solution. I beg of you. Oh, man. You in the name of your late sister. <laughs> I mean, mother. Please, don't leave me. You are everything I have now. <laughs> I have lost everything but you. Please stay with me. I, I know your mother should have told you that she, she was your mother before she died. Oh, she was all, only human. We are humans who are bound to make mistakes. She couldn't take it. She could not accept it when she found out you were pregnant for her husband. Please forgive her. I beg you in the name of God, forgive her. <laughs> forgive me too. Stay with me. Mama, I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry, but it's too late now. And like you said, I have to accept it. I have to. Where are you going? How does that affect you? Tell me. I just want to tell you. Thank you for being a good grandmother to me. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Oh no, oh yeah, 
I'm like someone in the middle of the road Nowhere to go Nowhere to go I'm the fun there It's unfortunate that the first time I had to call your brother was in your grave. Mother, oh, no, please. I didn't mean to betray you. I am sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Mother, oh, no, please. I'm sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> you wish to tell me the truth as regards my birth, but the condition didn't allow you. Instead, I allowed the devil to plant the seed of this God that destroyed the entire family. <laughs> I blame myself for all that I know. I blame myself for all I blame myself. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is my symbol of love for you. I still love you and I will always love you, mother. <laughs> See you, Bas. See no more. Good night, mother. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night, mother. Good night. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even one cobble on your head as dowry. So you have to go back to yourself. Go back to them. Talk to them. 
tell them what you are fighting and ask them questions. And if possible. The only person I have now is Stephanie. I don't know why she has decided to make it herself. Okay. Can I just go inside? Her? No, 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 no. Don't worry, I said. She'll be alright. Just push it. Please. Help me from this place. I called this meeting for us to help our son, Ben, who has been passing through some difficulties recently. It is no longer news how his wife died and uh, the aftermath of it. I want us to brainstorm on what to do to the newborn baby that he had with his late wife's daughter. Say! Abomination! Aro! Aro! Amadi, Amadi, let him finish! Huh? Let him finish! He uh, has finished now. What else has he to say? How can you be living with the person you call your wife? And at the same time, you are sleeping and fornicating with a girl that lives with you people. Mbano Aro! Aro! Uh, yes, the deed has already been done. There's nothing we can do about it. Eh? Hmm. What we should be thinking of now is how to proffer a solution to the problem. Because we cannot throw away the baby and the bathwater. Eh? Nzelo, what then is the solution to this problem? How can we solve this problem, Nzelo? I suggest we go to our in-laws and request that they give us the baby. After all, it's our own blood. It is my husband's. I need your help in this matter. Please, 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 please. Please. It's all right. You don't need to need me for us, our wife. You're our wife. Please sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Please sit down. There is no problem in this world without solution. Every problem has solution. Except death. Even death has solution. Death has solution. The dead have to be buried. Uh, uh, not in all case, so. Uh, not in all case. Please, my husband. Please, Amadi. I know that what my son did is not good. But it wasn't his fault. It was all mistake. Please, just have a faith. I have a little piece in your heart to forgive him. Please, I beg you. Our wife, Ben, has spoken to us about this. It's okay. We've heard him. <laughs> he has gone to, his, to their place. He has gone there to meet with them. They now ask him to meet with you people. That's all right. Mm. Has he come back here to meet with us and ask relevant questions? Has he? Yes, huh? he did. He did. He did. Uh -huh. uh, That's why I called this meeting. Uh, what do we do now? Um, I think we leave the chat to them now. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Uh, we will send an elder to them to talk to them. Um, if they insist, we come back to think what to do. I think it's a good idea. Yes. And so when are we going to meet with our in-laws? And who is going with them? Uh, um, I think his mother here, Gladys. Eh? You can go with the Ben. Go. She is, after all, she's an elderly woman. Let Amadi. her go. Amadi, <laughs> shut up your mouth. Did you take an alcohol before coming to this meeting? Did you take an alcohol? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? Sit down. Let me kiss you. Amadi, Amadi. 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 Huh? Please sit down. Sit down. Look at this. Sit down. Sit down. Ramos. 
analog okay. elder like you. It's okay. an analog. It's okay. Is that the, is that the ground rules? Look, there's no need for us to quarrel over this matter. What we should be thinking of is how to profile a solution to this problem. <laughs> huh? Why would you be like this? Hi. Anyway, I, I volunteer. I will, I will go with Ben. Uh -huh. This is human being. Huh? No, no, this is analog. No, okay, it's all right. It's but okay. you, Ibeque, Ibeque, I'm waiting for you on the road. Look, I will, I will kill you today. Just be coming. No, 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 no. Keep cackling, dangerous nonsense. I'm like someone in the middle of the road. Um, we we'll greet you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, people say that when you go on a peace talk, whatever judgment you pass there will follow you back to your own house. Our son and brother, Ben, he has told us what you said concerning the child, on whose name it will be here. We believe in tradition very strongly. And we know that the tradition is one and the same in Igbo land. It is true that our son impregnated your daughter, which led to the birth of this baby. And it is also true that he did not pay anything on her head as the custom and tradition of our land demands. And the implication of this is that the child is not ours but yours. Ah, <sighs> it's You are an orator. And uh, you've spoken like a wise elder, which you are. Thank you very much, sir. What your son did is an abomination. It's an abomination. And I, Chokeke, will not tolerate that. But, hmm. I cannot bring the cutlass down with the weight and height we have raised our hand. Sure. We have been in laws for a long time. And uh, Ben here has been like my son all the time. So, we shall find a solution to that. Uh, JJ, hmm? what have you to say? No, no, no. In this situation, she is not in the mood to talk now. Why don't they go home while we come back again when the situation calms down? Uh, my English. Yes. Like I said earlier, I am here to represent my people. And they expect a report back home when I get back. So please, uh, I want us to conclude this matter. Um, as the eldest here and uh, the immediate brother to Uchechi's late husband I'm saying that uh, that child is Ben's blood but he will remain in the arms of the mother until he comes of age and be in a position to decide or choose whose name to answer. While in the meantime, Ben and any of our any of his relatives, like you people, can visit. Hmm. I think I've spoken my mind. Okay. I, I think this is a very beautiful one. We are really happy. And I think my people back home will be happy to hear this. They are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. No, you can. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shirtlessness can cause this
Depression and depression oh, oh, oh. Childlessness Can cause destruction and depression Can cause destruction 